Hello and welcome back to the 2019 Pokemon Dual World Cup. Today we have a Group B matchup here between Malaysia and Italy. Malaysia uh, has tied two games uh, in their two matchups versus India and Peru. And Italy has lost both their games versus Peru and India. What Malaysia needs to advance is a win and for India and Peru not to tie. What's up guys? Earl Gaming YT coming back with another Pokemon Duel World Cup matchup. And first of all, before I start this video, I just want to say I have merch now. So if you go in the link in the description below, you can check out my merch store and you can use code EARL, 10% off. But let's hop right into this matchup. Game one here, as we only have three games for some reason. Oh, we have music. As we have Davix versus MYNC778. Wow, this is moving fast already. As he will double chance with his Poipole against the Fracture, trying to go for that blue cheese there. He'll land the Dragon Pulse. He'll double spin the, or double chance though. And land Toxic. So no, he won't get the cheese there. As MY will quickly move to the goal point there. He'll move out the Keldeo attack. And land the Spectral Thief versus the Miss. So that'll just force him to change forms here. But so far, a good start for Davix. Drifloom. Uh, Drifloom moves out. Air Balloon with Keldeo. Else he'll move to the... Uh, go for the Water Jump. And no. This will probably allow him to take the Entry Point Marsh out if he wanted to. But no, he will not take advantage of that. So move out the Kabuskin to attack the Necrozma. And no, the weak spot kick will get him knocked out. So no Evo there. As he'll move up and attack a dodge there for Marshadow. So good dodge there. Keeps him alive. Acid pour down. So go right for the Necrozma. Not a smart idea because he has a lot of purple to counter that Z-move. And he will knock him out with the Moon Guy's Beam and take the entry point. So this is all Davix so far. Dodge. Moves up to the Lunala. He'll hurdle jump with a fracture. Moves out the other Necrozma. An attack here. Take away, and that's basically game. Now he all he has is the Kangaskhan and the Zorark. He'll go right up against the Zorark with the Lunala. And land the Psychic, and that's just about game. This is going to have to force him to go block with the Kangaskhan. Z-move with the Kangaskhan. Needs him to land the White. He does, though. So, still alive, but barely. Actually, not really, because there you go. Forfeit win as Italy with a quick. Where's the score? There we go. With a quick win, as they will take a one to nothing lead here. Keep in mind, Malaysia just has to win this game, and hope that India and Peru does not uh, does not tie. So we had to game two. We only had three games, so I think this is, might not happen. So now we have on the in the red is D not E U, and then we have emo emo on the bottom. Double Rayquaza with Vibrava, Altaria, Mew, and Fracture on the bottom. Double Gardevoir with Altaria, Fracture, Drifflim, and Primal Kyogre on the top. There's a simple start there as he'll activate the Mega Gardevoir here, trying to go for a Banish right away of that Rayquaza. This could be good for not you. The attack and He'll get the Moon Blast, so he'll get the Knockout, but not the Banish here. As he'll put the Mew right in front of him, as then Emo, Emo, no, EU will put out Primal Kyogre defensively, and then they'll counter by bringing Altaria defensively. Air Balloon, attack, and a Parasong. 
not what EU wanted there. We were trying to go for the banish, as I'll take the entry point there with... Actually, that was perfect for EU, because now the Altaria has a curse marker, and their Gardevoir does not. But he'll have that will force him to activate the Mega Altaria, though. And take the goal point. He'll activate the Mega Gardevoir again. Does he go for the Vibrava here? No, he'll go for the Mega Altaria. And he'll land the blue hole. That will banish him. Now they can't bring anyone back. Now uh, Emu Emu cannot bring any banished figures back. Not looking good for Malaysia here. He could bring the Drift Flim down. Brings the Drift Flim down one more time. Max Revive here. Brings out the Rayquaza. Slides on over with Altaria. Brings over the Gardevoir. And attacks. And he'll land the Extreme Speed versus the Moon Blast. He's going to respin maybe for the Super Psy. He'll get that, so he'll get knocked out, but he will confuse the Rayquaza. So at least he gets something out of the knockout there. Rayquaza is basically rendered useless when confused. But he'll activate the Mega Rayquaza and probably go right after that. Primal Kyogre. You got it. No. Okay. Supersonic si Sky Strike. Hoping just for a fly here. Actually, he can land his gold, and I think he'd be fine too. Not the Dragon Ascend, though. And he would have been dead with the gold anyway. Unless you go get knocked out there. Good news for Emu Emu, though, is he still has the Mega Rayquaza. He'll go for the attack of Mew against the Primal Kyogre. He'll land the Psychic, though, and luckily for Emu Emu, Emu he will land the Dodge. He'll bring out the Fracture and attack the Mew, going for a knockout here, and he will get it. Guillotine versus Psychic. So back-to-back -back Psychics, not what you want to land if you're Mew. The only benefit that I had with Mew getting the Psychic to 100 is the Z-move. That's about it. You still don't want him landing that Psychic. As he will play it. As Emu Emu will go block there with Rayquaza. Not the greatest, but as he'll land the tech, he'll use the Tectonic Rage to knock out the Drift Limb. That overpowering Z-move provide Brava. He will not activate the Flygon, obviously. Bring down his Haxorus. Countered with the Fracture. No attack, though. As that Altaria gets caught in the vibrating sound, he'll move the Altaria, the Vibrava down. Altaria will take the entry point. EU making some moves here. Air Balloon. Uh, interesting move there. Fracture doesn't have the greatest matchup against Primal Kyogre. Does have the guillotine versus the white matchup, but that's just about it. Any blue, any white was not would not be good for him. Origin pulse survives a move there. A miss for the Rayquaza knocks him out, and now this is looking like a much worse move there as he'll max revive with drift limb to go attack the. Fracture here, this could be possibly game if he can get this knockout. Take away! That's exactly what not EU needed. Italy already eliminated from this tournament, so they don't have much to play for except for playing spoiler here in Malaysia. And that's just about it. As this is where EU will start the pressure. He will move there. Tectonic Rage. So giving him a little bit of hope here, he'll use the Tectonic Rage to knock out the Drift Limb, but n ooh, no, that's fine. Four Star Purple. I saw Takeaway, and I'm like, oh, no. Good 
Does he activate the Flygon here? Yes, he does, because that gives him a better chance to knock someone out. He can go and attack that Altaria, maybe. Try to go for the Draco Meteor. But he'll have to attack... Oh, the Haxorus with the Rayquaza. Giving him a good chance here. If he lands that Fly, this game still continues. But no! The Dragon Claw versus the Extreme Speed. And that'll do it. Not EU be able to land right on the goal with the Haxorus. And Italy... After losing their first two matchups, takes a two to nothing lead here, as they will win this game. The question is by a score of two to one or three to nothing. Malaysia's knocked out of contention now. <laughs> we'll move out with Poipu. We have Nick versus Snortuff here. Poipu right to the entry point as he will do a double block here with the Marshadow and the Poipu. Uh, no, Palplio. Wow. He'll hurdle jump with the Caldeo here. Interesting move, but he'll just quickly go block with that speed Dio. Long jump. Long throw. My bad. Wow, I can't read today. As he starts to just double up on those entry points. He was double chance against the Caldeo. Looking for that Nevi Power teleport. Will he land the Nevi Power here? No, he'll land the splash. That's strong to attack as he gets knocked out. And this is all Nick so far. Double chance against the Rayquaza. Fly. Looking for that Sucker Punch. Ooh, dodge though. I'll activate the Mega Rayquaza here. Ooh, this could be dangerous here. He does land the Extreme Speed and I'll knock him out. He would have landed a dodge if he still had the blue if Mega Rayquaza didn't take that away. Forcing him to activate the Mega Lucario. I'm staring at Ray yawning, my snake. As the he'll land the extreme speed one more time against this time it was the Mega Lucario. But that won't work. He'll attack it, looking for the cross counter, and he will not get it. He'll land the fly. Dark hole ellipse. Now the Rayquaza has to look for the fly. He'll get it, though. Wow. <laughs> but Nick here with all the control in the game. So move back with the Rayquaza. Slides on over to the middle. Max revive for Nick there. He'll bring out his Poi Pole. And this is looking to be... Start to uh, control this game a little bit more. Looking for that grass knot now. Backtrack. That's perfect. He'll send both to the bench. One last Pokemon that Nick has to worry about here uh, with Snortuff. He'll double chance, though. Looking for that dodge. Ooh. Now he has to look for that thing. No, he will not double chance that. As he'll bring out the Celebi one more time. Hydro Vortex. As he's looking for that 109. And he'll land the miss though. So that'll just make, make Celebi have to move up here. Activates the Bloom Doom. Goes up for the attack here. He just needs him not to land the Sing and he's good. He'll land the miss. So this is just about over. It is over. He'll just move up, surrendering, basically, as Nick will slide his Celebi onto the goal, and Italy will win this matchup three to nothing, as that will eliminate Malaysia from the World Cup. 
But that is going to do it for this matchup. The final score, Italy 3, Malaysia nothing. You guys have been watching the 2019 Pokemon Duel World Cup. I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.